The Goodwill bin experience is honestly horrible. Oh, it's a cool center. <laughs> She's like, I'll give you these shoes for $5. <laughs> Yes, I bought a guitar. Yes, I am filming a video for it. No, I didn't have enough time to film it, so that's why I'm doing this little thrift haul video instead. Yay! But we all know for the past like few years, I have completely replaced normal shopping with just thrifting, which environmentally better, financially better, just all things come good with thrifting. However, However, I've seen like on TikTok, like the Goodwill bins, like they're just bins, you try to dig through them. So I was like, you know what? It's time for me to actually try it out for once. And so I did. The Goodwill bins charges by the pound, not by like, cause the items are not priced yet. I don't know the details. And you can imagine how charging by a pound can get a bunch of clothes, a bunch of name brand stuff for very, very cheap. Now I didn't get much content inside of the place because it's hard to like dig through bins and try and film yourself, like it's impossible. I would need a second person. But I did take a few clips of what it looked like on the inside. But let me just say, it felt like the Hunger Games. <laughs> Imagine this, you walk into your thrifting Goodwill bin place, you see a bunch of trendy 20 year olds, um, no lazy people. You would expect people would be in like their sweatpants, you know, it's like a casual, no. People go to these bins ready for a fashion show. There's the middle-aged resellers that like will go there, fill up their carts with a bunch of things that look nice and then resell it on like Facebook or something shortly after. So it's really just a one for all. It's like the Hunger Games. Everyone's looking out for themselves. You're digging through these bins. The Goodwill bin experience is honestly horrible. I hate the fact that I'm literally digging in these bins like a fucking caveman. <laughs> It's unorganized, it's hard to find things, there's a bunch of people everywhere. However, the benefits of going to the bins heavily outweigh the fact that I feel like a caveman. Like, I'll feel like a caveman for 20 minutes. If so, I have two large bags worth of thrifted clothes. These two bags worth of clothes, I think total was 30 to $40. But first things first, I have to wash these clothes. If you don't wash your clothes after, especially going to the bins, very dirty, I don't know. I literally try with every fiber of my being not to go to the laundry room that my apartment has, but yeah, do what you gotta do. Are you kidding me? Look how scary. So scary, I hate it in here. I'm so dead, I'm just now realizing this. It says Speed Queen. <laughs> Starting with number one, this sweatshirt, this baggy blue, kind of giving me like Keith Haring design, but it's definitely not Keith Haring, but definitely like inspired. Yeah, I love it. I mean, it's nothing like anything spectacular, but it's like a cool, just like, it's a cool sweatshirt. I'm probably gonna overwear this sweatshirt to the point where it'll be noticeable that I wear it all the time, but it's okay. That's okay, no shame. I can already tell that I don't really care much for this one. White hoodie and some designs, but let me bring you guys back up. This is brought to my attention that this is actually a sweatshirt full of Justin Bieber's tattoos. Now, if I were ever in public and someone recognized that, they would think I'm like a believer, which I like Justin Bieber, but I'm not a believer. For whatever reason, I don't have any like mocha brown t-shirts. But it's kind of boring. Let me try pairing it with that one episode in Euphoria where Rue has those like baggy shorts with the cropped long sleeve. This was kind of my inspiration, but this looks like it might be a little too baggy. Oh no, you guys. <laughs> These are a little bit too long. <laughs> no way. We're cutting it. Work. So I think I'm gonna do the incision right about here. A byproduct of thrifting is having to adjust your clothes to fit what your vision was. Not, but this is kind of the style I wanted. Just a basic little forest green zip up. Ugh, I love it. I can't see what I look like, but I think it looks good. Feels good, feels comfy. Hold on. Yeah, I think this is just a nice little basic addition to the closet. 
this hat I scooped up. It looks so dingy, but it's so sexy. Like, are you kidding me? Oh! Thrifting for me, honestly, is mostly to find basic clothes, right? To fill in your closet. You're, this is coming from someone who used to be just a normal shopper. You'd catch me in the mall. These shorts, I intended, I bought these shorts fully knowing I wasn't obsessed with them. But I bought them also thinking how comfy they were. And on the topic of comfy, I bought these brown Fila sweatpants. It's just like a nice little addition. I could wear this with a black t-shirt. The options are freaking limited. <clears throat> freaking limited. Whoa, freaking limitless. Honestly guys, when I grabbed this, I didn't think it was much of nothing. I was like, oh, like this is like a cool color. Like I might wear it. Moral of the story, I really love this. I can even do like a t-shirt underneath, or I can just go no t-shirt, have a few buttons down. Like, this is, this was a good find. Kind of disappointed. I was really looking forward to this one, but I don't know. It's kind of making my skin itchy, so I might kick it off. Actually, it's not that bad. I kind of like it. Lavender, don't know what these are, but you know what? I like it. It's cool. It's cool. A tad bit disappointed in myself that I actually grabbed these orange pants. I don't know. I, so I also got this really dope, just gray sweatshirt with Riyadh, Riyadh on it. I don't know what that means. Giving essentials, kind of giving hype beast. This jacket is easily one of the best finds that I found. Like a full up to the neck zip up, dope. You kind of look cool. Fold the collars down, dope. Or if you had a shirt underneath, the best part about it, it says always fresh. Always, always fresh. Yes, I am. Always fresh. Come on now. So we're probably gonna cut it right here, but there's I don't think there's any much point in cutting it because look at the sleeves. Like I could fit maybe three more of my arms in there. <sighs> Cookie break. Got my oat milk in here in a little bowl. Truly one of the best cookies I have ever laid my lips on. They're vegan oatmeal chocolate chip cookies from Trader Joe's. Mm. I feel like Goldilocks in someone's house. Mm. Anyway. Ooh. 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 Honestly, guys, I really didn't think I would like this one. Honestly, an amazing find. Throw a cool t shirt under here. Yes. This is a good find, too. I don't know what team this is, but I grabbed this jersey because I like the colors. I'm going to a baseball game. It's giving good vibes, honestly. But love this blue, love this red. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. This is very formal looking. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Hello. What's going on? So let me see how far, let me see how this traffic's looking. Hold on. What time are you coming? Baggy gray t shirt with this little design on the back. Yeah. So, here is shoe number one. You're probably wondering, like, Davari, can't lie to you. These look very beat up. These look very dingy. These look very dirty. And I honestly can't help but agree. I'm gonna try and work my mojo to repair these shoes as best as I can because I think these could have some very good potential. Best find that I found while doing my Goodwill bends. Oh my goodness, like I was so shocked. Okay, actually there's a funny story with these ones. Do you remember how I said there's resellers at the Goodwill bends? how they just go pick up all the nice stuff and then try and resell it like on Facebook or something? At the bends, there's like multiple bends, right? But the shoe bends, Sometimes it's disorganized and you'll find one shoe in one bin and another shoe in another bin. Here, I find this one, I'm like, oh my gosh, so pretty. So I'm digging through all these shoes, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I need to find the second pair. And I see this lady hogging one pair. And I saw the pair, I was, she didn't speak English, so I was like, 
Los Zapatos Part 2? Part 2 or not? Grilling her. I was like, I want these shoes. You clearly weren't looking for them. So I'm like, Los Zapatos Part 2? And she was like, no, be right back. So she knew the person that knew. And she came over and she's like, I'll give you these shoes for $5. I'm like, $5, girl? I found the other shoe! Like, you weren't looking for it. You were completely on the other side of the store. Pretty much moral of the story, she just gave them to me after she was trying to hug the other one. She was very sweet. Honestly, this looked it looked like something that she did for a living and she was probably really good at it because I saw a lot of good stuff in her pile. Try and clean them as best we can because best believe I'm not sticking my feet in either one of those until they are restored. So let's get to work. I'm gonna just pour a little bit of laundry detergent in here and then stir it up a little bit. I don't know if this is like working or not. I can't tell if I'm damaging the shoe or cleaning it. Oh, I don't know, guys. Ew. Ewee. Oh my gosh, guys. I think this is making the shoe worse. But how else am I supposed to wear them if they're dirty? Just don't clean your shoes with hot water because you will damage it. Especially old shoes. No, you guys. I think I gotta throw it out. You guys see that? Mm-mm. I am literally so disgusted right now. Do you guys see that in there? I like literally get throw up. Imagine me putting my feet in this. I, I, I literally can't. I have to bleach my whole kitchen now. Lesson learned. <laughs> Don't try and repair shoes, and you know nothing about repairing shoes, especially when the shoes underneath the soles are literally brown. Like, ooh, I like literally, I threw up, I just deep cleaned my whole kitchen. Literally, even the water, where the water dripped, deep cleaned every single dish. This one passed my test. Underneath the sole was nice and clean. Um, I'm still gonna soak it, of course. These shoes I'm even comfortable putting on right now. I don't even care. They look so clean on the inside. These are cool. These are like cool, dope. Like, I mean, they're like gym shoes or running shoes, but. Okay, well, that was it. It's 30 to 40, 40 to 50 dollars worth of clothes, which is insane because obviously, even going normal thrift shopping at a normal Goodwill, this hoodie alone would have been like $10. Insane. So try it out. It's definitely a little grungy, but it definitely has a lot of good treasure to be found. Um, try it out. Try it out. You might like it more than I did. I'm still going to do it. Like, oh my gosh, the amount of stuff I got for the amount of money, I'm still going to do it even though I'm not a big fan of it, but yeah, just try it out. It's a little fun. Okay, gonna end the video here, but I'm excited for this next video. Mm -hmm.